Hello, so something has been working on the Ruby on Rails application, you will want to add rich text editing, that is uh, making the text bold, or strike through, or adding bullet points, or adding uh, hyperlinks, or adding images, undoing and redoing changes. Well, the easiest way to implement this feature in Ruby on Rails is to use the tricks uh, rich text editor that was created by the same guys who initially created Ruby on Rails, and that is an integral part of the Rails framework as action text. So, again. The Rails framework has a feature named Action Text that uh, lets you add rich text editing based on the Tricks editor. And now we are going to see how we can implement this feature in a Ruby on Rails application. But first, here is an application that I have running at the moment. So I have a list of posts. Each post has a title and content. Title is a string and content is text. Now you see the input fields are different because uh, if we go into the form, we will see that we have a text field input and a text area input. So in a text area, I can have different rows. But if I create the post, you see all the rows are in the same line. So if you want to display the rows in separate lines, you will want to use something as simple format. Basically, it is a wrapper into which uh, you can input your post content, anything that is uh, in the text format, and it will be displayed in separate rows. So already looks better, but of course it is still far from rich text uh, editing. So how do we add action text? Well, let's go to the documentation, and here we have this command, bin rails action text install. So let's run this command in our console, and see what it does. So it runs yarn add tricks, and it uh, modified a few files, created a file action text scss, created a view blob html erb, and created two migrations. Let's have a look at the migrations first. First of all, it created a migration for active storage tables and also a migration for action text tables. Basically, action text relies, depends on active storage because uh, when doing rich text editing, to be able to add any attachments, you need to store them somewhere. And uh, that's how Action Text uses Active Storage to be able to store files. Well, in a few other episodes, I describe how we can use Active Storage, and here we are, of course, focusing more on Action Text. In any case, we are going to run both migrations for Active Storage and Action Text. Let's do it. Rails TP migrate. And let's see what other changes this. Uh, command rails action text install did. So I'll type git status. And we see there were changes in pax application JS. Let's go there. We have JavaScript, pax application JS, and these two lines for edit require tricks and require rails action text, just as uh, here in the installation guide. Also, it created a file action text.scss. So we're going to app assets style sheets action text as CSS. So it created this file and it added some default tricks styling and added required tricks this tricks. Now you see it tells us to add import tricks this tricks, but we don't have to do it because we already have require here. Also in application as CSS it tells us to add this line. Let's have a look at our application. Actually we have application CSS at the moment and we don't really need to add this line here because we already have required tree meaning all the files that are inside style sheets are required. Okay, what uh, else did it do? It created a views folder named active storage, and here it created a blobs folder and inside a blob partial. Later on we will see what it is. So now we've uh, installed action text and we want to use it. We want to use it for our posts. At the moment, posts have a title and content, and let's say we want to add a post description, that would be rich text. So let's uh, go to edit in the post, and uh, according to the guide, we need to add has rich text something inside our post model. So we're going to go to our post RB model, and we will add has rich text description. Now, we are not adding rich text to the content field that already exists in the post table. We are adding a relationship between the post table and action text table. And the post is going to have a relationship with the action text table through this uh, has rich text. 
and uh, we will have this description that is kept not in the posts uh, table but in the action text table okay so we say has rich text description and we need to also add the uh, an input field inside our posts now at the moment if we go to our posts form we have a text field for title a text area for content and we are going to have a rich text area for description so we will say description description and not text area but rich text area okay and let's refresh and here you see we already have this rich text input so i can make something bold i can try to add an uh, attached file and try to update the post now we also want to display the changes here so if we'll go to our post show and uh, also display the post uh, description post description now we don't need the simple format uh, anymore here so we have the post title content and description and you see the description is empty and if we go to edit you see it is also empty so our changes were not stored why is it so again i will try to update the post and if we go into the logs we will see we have this unpermitted parameter description so we did not write this description in our post controller and this is also explained in this uh, guide so we need to whitelist the content or the description in our controller in our case description so we are going to go to the posts controller and in post params we are going to also add description okay now once again i will try to edit the description i will add some text in different lines i will add the few bullet points i will make something bold i will add an image and press update post and you see the changes have been persisted so all the rich text formatting has been persisted and the image has been saved but you see the image cannot be displayed why is it so because the image and basically all the attached files inside our rich text area are the, their views are accessed through this blob so you see here we have the image of the file we have the name of the file we have the extension of the file and we have uh, the size of the file and this is all here in this blob and you can actually edit it so if you add uh, some kind of text here like abc then it should also be displayed here you see abc if you remove the blob file name and the blob byte size then they will not be visible here only the image if it is available now at the moment the image is not representable uh, we cannot resize according to the defaults and that's why we cannot view it and to be able to view it actually the documentation for this is that inside the active storage overview so we're going to get add this gem image processing so that we can resize to limit and the representation works so we're going to add this gem to our gem file gem image processing now we run bundle and we will start the server and you see it works so the image can be represented and this is basically everything you need to know for installing action text but one more interesting thing so at the moment we have application as a uh, Oh, application CSS but really often you will want to use not CSS but as CSS let's try to make it application as CSS so I'm making application as CSS I'm going to remove everything from this file and uh, I'm going to restart the server and see how it looks how it works so I'm restarting the server you see all my formatting all my styling has disappeared so we don't inherit uh, from this uh, super rails CSS as CSS file if we go to editing the file you see we don't have uh, our action text uh, styling so we would need to include action text inside application as CSS just as in the guide so going up we're going to import action text as CSS and let's see if it works I've imported it 
and I will add an additional space. Maybe it will work now. Yes, you see. So now it works. But I also want to import my uh, SuperRails CSS as CSS. So I will also add this. And see if it works. So now my styling works, but the action text styling does not work. If I change them, if I change their places, let's see if it works. Yes, now it works. So this way you can use uh, application as CSS instead of application CSS. And this is basically it. So thanks for being with me and have a nice day.